All right, so in this example, it says an air cargo plane can transport as many as 15 regular containers. One supersized container takes up the space of three regular containers. They ask us to write an inequality to model the number of regular and supersized containers the plane can transport. All right, so basically, again, ladies and gentlemen, anytime you're dealing with a word problem, we have to identify our variables. I'm just going to use x and y. You could use any one that you, any variable you like to. All right. But obviously, if you're looking at like a test and they have the variables, you want to use what the variables represent. So let's just say an air cargo plane can transport as many as 15 regular containers. One supersized container takes up the space of three regular containers. So basically, we have a regular container and we have a supersized container. Does everybody agree with me? Those are your two types of containers. So we have here is the. Um, so it's basically the uh, airplane could transfer as many as 15 regular containers. So the number of regular containers and the number of super sized containers. Okay. Now it does say one super sized container takes up the space of three regular containers, right? So how can we relate um, the number of supersized as regards to um, that one? Yes? I'm sorry? What do you, well, um, well, what I'm trying to say is how are um, if, if one is, if you have your container, right, um, how do you represent three times the size? It would be three, like three times x, right? So basically, um, an air cargo plane can transport as many as 15 regular containers. One supersized container takes up the space of three regular containers. Um, so basically, what I, if I'm looking into now, we're looking at a cargo transport plane. And it says there's 15 containers. Now, can we have any, can we fit more than 15 containers? Can we fit 15 containers? Yes. So it's going to be less than or equal to, right? Not less than, because it can be 15 containers, right? Yes. And then basically what I, um, Air cargo could transfer in as many as 15 regular containers. One supersized container takes up the space of three um, regular containers. So basically, then I can represent this as um, x would be my regular containers, and 3y, if I write this in there. One supersized container just save a space of three regular containers with the model number of regular and supersets of planar containers. And that would be times 3, where y basically represents the containers, but of a different size. Um, yeah, because you have a container. Basically, it's the number of containers. And y, though, represents the supersize, which would be three times the size. Anybody have questions on that? Yes? 